Okay, what's up? We finna move. We finna groove. We finna talk to guess who? It's time for my one of signs, which is cancer. Cancer, we need to talk about the love of your life. What's going on with your business? What you doing, okay? What your love life was in the past? Let's see. Okay, cancer. I love y'all. I want y'all to like, share, and subscribe, girl. We talk about that love life now. We talking about what's deuce You know what's going to go down? We need to know what's happened in the past. What was the problem in your relationships in the past, Cancer? What have you do in the past? What was the problems in your past relationships? Let's get talking about them past relationships. What's up in that past relationship? Past relationship. What's going on? Cancel the past. What's going on in the past relationship? Cancel my love. <laughs> I brought my dad's truck. Getting to know each other as you reveal your inner values and secrets. You need to, in the past, you used to want to value your secrets and tell everybody everything. You know, getting to know each other. But then you left it because that person wasn't all what you figured because it was in the reverse. That person just didn't show you what, you didn't waste your time. You said, I don't want you, don't need you, don't want you. Now what's currently going on in this relationship, Cancer? Now what's your current look like in the relationship? You got engagement. Your love of it is ascending to an engagement. To a higher level of commitment. Somebody might be getting engaged. Ooh, we engaged is coming. Somebody got an engagement coming in next week. Okay, what's the future look like? What's the future card? Come on, let's see. Somebody got love life is going in the Let's see, future. The future, they say, keep an open mind. Your soulmate is different, won't be the same. This person won't have the same thing that you have. It won't be perfect, you know. Keep an open mind about your love life. There's strange encounters. What's the outcome in this love life? But you know what? Let's break it down to your cancer. Let's say you letting them get to know each other. You, you need to control your issues, your anger issues. Because that's going to, in the future, that's going to affect you in some kind of way. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So you need to let go of your control issues that's in the future. And then you, get, you need to call on your soulmate. Then your soulmate going to come in. When you start to realize to control your temper, because your soulmate left, that it is in the reverse, but there's new love coming to you in the future, and new person's coming to you. This is going to be your soulmate that's going to come across to you when you finally say, I ain't doing it. So somebody, you know, what's this engagement about currently? What's the engagement about? What you get engaged to do? What you get engaged to do? Cancer, what currently... You engage to do. Okay, cancer. What are you engaged to do? You know what I'm saying? Somebody wants that poo poo. But you know what I'm saying? There's cold but there's codependencies in that relationship. You can't codepend on nobody. Your addictions is affecting your romantic life. You know, you can't be addicted to everything. You got some addictions going on with you. What is it, Cancer? Tell me what. Confess. Confess right now. <laughs> Y'all know I play too much. I'm going to confess every day of the life. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm loving me, baby. And you better love yourself, Cancer. That's what I'm telling you. Let's see more on this current relationship with this engagement. Ah, right. what's going on with that engagement? Somebody with your codependence. Don't marry nobody because you're codependent on them. That's kind of corny too. I ain't married on nobody that I'm codependent on because that way I won't pay for my own drawers, and then them suckers ain't gonna want me anyway because I can't pay for my own drawers. So therefore, I don't need your money. I just need you to know I'm a happy woman to depend on myself. But you know. Don't be too stingy now. Don't, if you're in engagement and you be with somebody, you got to be 50-50. Now, if you marry now, I ain't saying you got to give all your money away because, you know, you do that, you ain't got nothing for a cloud of day because, you know, people lie. Men lie and you know that. Women do too. I am not excusing women or men. 
we all have capping abilities. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know, the current situation in this love affair, what is the problem? What is the problem with you, Cancer? What's going on? Okay, what's current going on? Give me more. Give me the tea. I got these cards. They got, you can't see them because they got nudity. I want the tea, so we're going to get out the nudity cards. They said comp completion, okay? Somebody has the four swords. They done come to a, com a completion to all the bull S in relationships. They're getting tired of it. Because they says the two coins, she earns her, her way. Somebody ain't been earning their way because it's in the reverse. You know what I'm saying? They haven't been earning their way. Somebody that you talk to, they ain't earned no high level commitment. You need to take them back. Now, what's the deal with this two of coins in reverse? Wisely in the reverse spirit. Give me some, come on, give me some insight. Let's break it down to them. You know, we're here to tell truths. We're here to tell facts. We don't give a crap. You tell it like it is, okay? Now, you have the chariot. She who controls the money. Somebody controls the money. Their car is down because they got the chariot. It was in reverse. So they, is, they can't go nowhere. So technically, Kansas, your car is down right now. So that came out. So what's going to happen with the chariot? So you can't go pick the, you know, be in the chariot with somebody that ain't got no car. You know what I'm saying? They got to get them a car. It's just that simple. This person don't got a car. What's going on? They need counsel. They need a car to marry you. You ain't getting engaged. You ain't got no car. No, you got to have a car. You can't run around with no vehicle with me. <laughs> I refuse to share. Sorry about that, y'all. Let me turn that off. There's always people that try to call me. You know, I'm a valuable person. <laughs> y'all know I'm full of coyote and coyote. I just play too much. But anyway, let's get back to this chariot. Why is the chariot in reverse? Give me more details. Why is this chariot? Oh, it was over here. Okay, I got you. Well, the chariot was meant, don't give up though, cancel. They want you, whatever you went through. The seven of wands, don't give up. Be careful about your love life. There's somebody that, that wants to give up. They feel frustrated. They feel like they ain't getting a, they said, forget it. I don't need men. I don't need no one. I just need to beautify myself and wake up to reality that I love myself. That's the thing. Do you love yourself, Cancer? You need to ask yourself. All love ain't good. That's what you say. Now, let's see what else. What's in the future you need to know about this man? Or oh, woman. What's the deal with this love affair? Wait a minute. All the cars got something to say about you. What the heck going on? They falling everywhere. Okay, we're going to talk. Okay. We have She Rides the Wind. There's a two of wands that can just turn, they ride the wind. Somebody makes you so addictive, you're on top. In the future, you love to be on top. <laughs> you love that fun action on top, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you get it, though. You letting them feel it. And they feeling it because you like to ride the wind. That's what they said. They said the sun, but it's in the reverse. Life, joyful, um, am admiration. You're not having no joyful about it. I guess that love affair was not even, somebody wasn't all that. You did too much work. Because you got the um, four of um, coins here in the word. This is misleading. Somebody tried to mislead you. In other words, they want the poo-poo, but they don't want them to step up their game. So I'm going to tell you something. As I always said, there's a reason to everything. So let's see. Let's see what else comes out about this. Because, you know, it's getting a little juicy here. Let's see. Let me get these cards here. What else is going on that we need to know? Let me give you a little bit more, Cancer. We're going to get these messages and we're going to go. <laughs> what else is going on with you, Cancer? You know I love you, but y'all crazy. <laughs> y'all be acting crazy. Excuse me, I'm just joking. Don't take it personal. If you don't like to clap, if you don't like to have fun, then you in the wrong zone. Because I am about living large and telling people what is it. Let's see what else we got going on. What else we got going on in this love life that you need to know currently? Because this person wants to take engagement. But you're starting to realize that everything you thought you wanted, you did. You got the wisdom. You're starting to get your wisdom about this. It's time for you to grow and learn something. They want you to get your wisdom about your love life because you need to check people. Because sometimes people are weird. What else you need to know about your love life? What's this wisdom you need to know? 
Tell me what this love life wisdom you, they're telling you. What is this person wisdom that they're currently going to express to you? What are they going to express to you at this time? What's going to express cancer? They get, oh, they're about to get me mad. Who are they going to express cancer? They don't want to fall. Come on, cancer. What do you want to express, cancer? What's the wisdom you need to hear? Come on, cancer. Stop being stubborn. Thank you for stopping and stuff. You need to learn that wisdom card came and you wasn't taking no wisdom from nobody at first. And then when you wasn't taking no wisdom, you wasn't able to see what's coming to you because you wasn't listening. Then you have your body and mind. You wasn't operating in your own body and mind. In other words, you have a tunnel that leads to another. You're, you feel the energy, the need to help your body and your mind. So somebody apparently likes sex because it keeps their mind and their body and their life feeling like they're complete. But somebody has sex because, you know, I said it in a different way because I want to be funny, sex. They love sex, but they don't understand. There's rules about sex. You can't let, you got to use more of your body, your, your mind than your body because, because really, it's okay to get your tunnel on because that's what gets cancers on. They love, to, they're freaky people. Ain't nothing wrong being a freak now. If you ain't no freak, who wants you? I do not want nobody that cannot turn, can't turn me on. Why would you be with somebody that can't turn you on? Let me tell you something. I don't care about what somebody currently tell you. Get in your body, your mind, you're going to win. But cancer, understand me when I tell you this. Stop not listening to the wisdom. Listen to yourself. Sometimes you need to go within your own mind and start sitting down and correcting thyself. When you do that, then you can kind of see the mistakes that you're making before you do it. Take, you need to learn to breathe in and out like this. And you need to go and get you some meditative music. Let the ancestors talk to you. There's somebody that wants to speak to somebody in particular, but they're going to have to get their meditation and do what you got to do because if you want to be if this person wants to be spiritual want to know about that other side then you need to connect with the other side you need to really take a like a few minutes five minutes a day five ten minutes and start meditating to some meditation music on youtube they have plenty of it um to for you to get your grounding yourself in other words so you can think before you do once you start practicing this breathing and part practicing this, you won't do anything until you go in your mind. I don't care if you would, wherever you at. Take a moment. Breathe in and out before you make a decision. Don't make any decisions on haste because that's what the problem is. The mind and the body got to go together. They got to communicate together. And it was in the reverse, so they wasn't really communicating together. They were just going off what's going on, what they felt. They wasn't using that. So that's what I'm trying to explain if I explained it right to y'all. But anyway, let's move on. But you do got some haters anyway. Because, you know, somebody got some good poo-poo. That's what they're saying. In the doo-doo, if that's a D, that's what the problem is. And they keep going for the poo-poo. And they keep trying to open the poo-poo. And she says no, but or he says no. And they'll keep trying. Please, you know, I need you. And then the first one to go over there and tell I don't like snitches. Let me tell you something. When I fuck you, excuse my friend. <laughs> I don't need no snitch, you know what I'm saying? If I'm going to fuck you and then you snitch, fuck you, dude. That's just how I see it. You didn't need to be fucked. You need to be somebody to kick your ass. And I'm being bright about it. You know what I'm saying? I hate to tell you, love can be crazy sometimes. But if a man think, or a woman think, I'm going to go in a room, well, I'm going to give you all these good things, and I'm going to sweep you up. It's kind of like somebody, I feel like things get set up. I feel like that some things are set up. Because some people will put things out like you can mess with it. But then when you touch it, don't touch it. That's called, I'm not through with it. Somebody not through with something. That's why they act like that. They play like, oh, I don't, I don't want that anymore. I'm done with that. That is over. And then they tell you, cancer, and then you go for it. Did you, wait a minute, what did you just say? So you got to correct that. Don't think on that because people don't even know what they want. Okay? Don't never go by what somebody tell you. Go by what? Because everybody ain't ready for you. You got too much. 
the poo poo good, and then you got this, you ain't gonna be able to fight. You know what I'm saying? I don't say that for everybody, but this car said you got good poo poo. I'm not saying it. That's just what to say. You know, I can't help it because you got good poo poo. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? I give all men and women they props. If you got good poo poo, you got D, I'm going to tell you D is good. But if it suck, I'm going to say, man, that's, you need to go back and buy you some stenches because you ain't big enough. And that's just the way I am. So if you can't come across me with that stuff, I speak my mind. I don't care who I'm around. If you tell it's open season, I'll fuck who I like. That's how I do. It's my decision. This is my body. You know what I'm saying? And first of all, you shouldn't have been in my business. And I know, first of all, cancer, there's people in this world that think sex is the way to communicate, to show your love. Somebody told me, if we don't have sex, they don't love me. I can have no sex for a year, and if you don't love me, fuck you. <laughs> That's just, I, I don't give a shit. I can be with diaper on and can't have sex, so therefore, you're going to leave me? Well, I'm going to leave you alone because you can't, you can't have sex with me anymore. So, Jesus, I got to dump you. We get a divorce. Let me tell you something. Don't mess with anybody to kiss and tell. That's one number one rule. Okay. I learned that when back in the day. You know, I was a little bit sly. You know, I would dust myself off because that stuff was fun. I ain't gonna lie. I like all this craziness. You know why I like it? Because that means I'm I'm top shit and I'm bad. <laughs> when you go crazy over me, I love myself. You got to love yourself. I don't give a darn about the cuss words. Excuse that. Your kids shouldn't be on here listening. I'm gonna be me. And I love y'all, but, you know, L.A. speaks of mine, and that's the problem. So, Council, you know what? I'm going to pull you a couple of these other messages here, and then I'm going to close with you. Because, you know, you you too hot for TV. Everybody says you got good, so I'm going to leave this alone because you're starting to infect my poo You know, somebody pee pee do that dee dee. <laughs> I don't want to feel that. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to feel that. That energy is deep. Somebody got to deep. Go on with that. I'm going to hurry up. You see, I'm finna hear me up. Y'all trying to, mm -mm. you ain't gonna get that to me. I don't want none of that. I don't want the largest thing in town. Maybe y'all do. <laughs> no, thank you. Hurry up. <laughs> sure. Now, let me hear you up. This said you need to face this head trauma car accident on the highway. You're going to be careful, allegedly. Be careful where you're driving because it could be face head trauma and you, you know how that's going. I don't want nobody to put a diaper on me. So if you don't want no diaper, you watch where you're driving, cancer. Because I don't like diapers, you know. I don't care what anybody. They tried to put that on me last year for a stupid code. I said, you get this diaper on me, I will piss on myself first. <laughs> you know, I'm, I don't care. I feel like diapers is the last straw. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Now, if you need diapers, don't get me wrong, but they need to make them better as good-looking underwear. We are in the matrix like the movies called Men in Black, allegedly. We are in the matrix. Everything is like, not what you think in cancer. You see things straight on what's in front of you, not seeing the matrix side that you see when you go to sleep. When you go to sleep, you like it. Oh, you be throwing that, stop. You get your cape on and you be doing some things. You come and get me now. That's crazy, cancel. <laughs> when the nighttime goes sleep, you come and get me. We hanging out, you know. I anyway. But anyway, let me pull one more and then, well, come on, then we gonna close it. And then the stars that have, allegedly, I don't want to say this, but stars that have demons that are connected to it. We know that, allegedly. Don't go there, because I don't want nobody coming after me. I only speak to messages and what you don't want to hear, I don't care. Anyway, people info being stolen taken, allegedly, taken from also stolen from the bank, also food stamps, money. Somebody's stealing people's food stamps. You better hide your cards. You better hide. Ah! Wait a minute. Yay. Somebody got high blood pressure like a mug. They don't even know it. Well, that's allegedly because I ain't no doctor. But I'm going to close this, and I'll talk to you later, Sad. I mean, catch cancer. You must be talking to a Sad just talking about me. Ooh, I must be popular. I just did a Sagittarius. But anyway, love y'all. Love and likes. Come back and see a girl. Because you know, girl gonna speak it like it is. I don't care what it is. Take your brooms and come back. Bye-bye.